coaching. Every second is my drill. Cooking in plain old fashion. Power. It's what the Delaware State Hornets did today during camp. The team got a chance to practice in shorter pads and helmets and got a chance to do a little thudding, all of which defensive coordinator coach Petty Fields will help the defense. We had about four turnovers today, you know, and uh, we want to continue. We put a lot of emphasis on running to the football pursuit and, uh, you know, knocking the ball loose. So, you know, we dropped a couple of interceptions, but, you know, we'll work on that. With both the defense and the offense flying around making plays, many players were happy to have a little contact. I felt great today, especially putting on the shells. Offense and defense got to loosen up the pads, get back on course, you know, with uh, contact. I mean, it was a great feeling today. Then the Hornets came right across the street to support head coach Al LeVan as he took on University of Delaware's head coach Casey Keeler in a charity cook-off to raise money. The rematch between the two coaches was to raise money for the Boys and Girls Clubs of Delaware. Coach LeVan was supported by the team, cheerleaders, and loyal fans. Anytime you get the opportunity for two schools to get together for a worthy cause, whether it's this event, a championship game, or a game in the future, is going to serve and benefit the students of both universities. Although tonight's event was only a battle in the kitchen, both coaches agree they would love to battle on the field. The level that Coach LeVan has gotten in this football program, um, I mean, it's obvious that they're, they're only going to keep on getting better and better and better. And um, uh, so I think it would be a great opportunity for both of us to play. I think it would be a game we'd sell at every single uh, year. The cook-off resulted in a tie between both head coaches. But one thing is for certain, if they do play, there will only be one winner. I'm Blake Saunders, reporter from Dover Downs, DSUHornets.com.